Hey there y'all, welcome back to Homie Collectibles channel. Today we are going to review a Bandai Vinyl Godzilla action figure. This is the Godzilla 1954, the original Godzilla um, 1954 design. This is a 2019 figure release from Bandai's um, movie monster series, I'm assuming. Now, forgive me, I am not too intelligent according to, you know, Bandai Godzilla toy lines of these days because I don't collect them. But this was a gift sent to me from someone who went to Japan. And um, so, yeah, this is a really cool figure and never had a Bandai vinyl figure for a while now. So this is a pretty cool experience. Um, I got to say, um, let's look at the tag first. I love the tag. It's got the original from 1954 Godzilla holding the plane you can see it's from 2019 54 you open the uh little tag they sell these with the tags i guess to not waste you know them on using a box i think it's pretty cool um it's like you're buying a produce product except it's a final toy you can see this is the card right there bandai 2019 made in china the figure itself, let me see if I can get the camera a little bit up so you can see the head a little bit better. The figure is pretty uh, nice. Um, the Bandai does usually a good job with their Godzilla figures. You can see the head sculpt right there. He is scary looking. No head articulation, um, but that's expected with Bandai final figures. But you can see how cool that head's, head sculpt is. The teeth. They're not individually um, sculpted or anything. They're just painted, which is fine. Um, this is, it's scary looking if you look at it in front. It looks pretty scary, not gonna lie. Their arms are massive and bulky and kind of like squished together. I guess that was part of the suit. The spikes are pretty small um, than usual. They are soft vinyl, of course. Um, they're painted, but it kind of stops until here. I wish it would have kind of continued, unless that was part of the design of this. But the movie was black and white, so it kind of makes sense to give it, like, colors of black and white or something close to it. Um, no paint on the toes or claws or anything. Um, the legs are pretty nice. They're, you know, big and bulky as... A lot of Godzilla incarnations. I do like this part here. It, I think they did a good job of capturing kind of texture, texture and skin. And you can see Godzilla's chest right there. Um, there's the tail. No articulation on the tail. That kind of sucks. But um, yeah, it's overall it's a detailed figure. It's authentic. Bandai, who is you know has been a partner for Godzilla merchandise for a long time um, so it's the bottom of the foot giving all the made in China this is a Bandai product and yada yada articulation is pretty basic really basic actually four points of articulation the arms can go 360 all around like this and same thing on the other side and then the legs can go kick forward Kind of back, it kind of goes all the way. It just you know, it depends on what kind of figure you got. This one does it pretty well. I don't know why you would want to make Godzilla. Uh, it's kind of stopping on this leg. Oh, there we go. Don't know why I had to show you doing it all the way, but the tail is glued in. You can see little glue marks, so you can't really turn the tail. I don't really care. Um, it's got the basic articulation I need from an expected vinyl figure. So, um, what do I give this figure? Ratings. It's pretty cool. You're a fan of this design. You like the movie. You know, you want a affordable Godzilla figure. I don't know how much this costs, actually. So, forgive me. I'm not really sure. I got this as a gift, like I said. But, for me, I would not go past 20 bucks. Um, I know this is an import item. So, if it's like 25 bucks, 20 bucks, that's fair. But, if it's like 30, 40, 50 nah don't don't get it so thanks for watching please let me know um, if you like the content i'm trying to uh, do some good toy reviews and all that thanks for watching and have a good day